Hi friends, my name is Aki Dearis. Well, it's here, ladies and gentlemen, One Punch Man, literally the most hyped anime of the year, and... Uh, no, I said One Punch Man. Thank you. Has been a huge sigh of relief of anime of 2015. I won't sugarcoat it, people. 2015 was slow for anime. But now we have Saitama, a completely OP average man who teaches us the most important things about life, such as bargains, butt scratching, more than One Punch Man, the face of evil, and... Wait, what was this anime about again? So welcome to the Everything You Didn't Know About series, where I take an anime and share with all of you as many interesting facts, easter eggs, and my own theories and metaphors of what this anime has to offer. Because of that, I highly recommend that you finish the entire anime since we'll be passing a few spoilers throughout this video. So let's go! Number 1. One only wanted to make One Punch Man for fun. He was a manga artist simply as a hobby, which is ironic given the fact that Saitama is only a hero for fun. It's as if One is One Punch Man. He still continues this attitude due to the fact he serializes One Punch Man on his own website, meaning he doesn't get paid for it. Number 2. Moomin Rider is actually a parody character of the Common Rider franchise. His English translation is the Licenseless Rider, but a lot of fans decided to stick with calling him Moomin, because Common and Moomin sounded the same. I, I don't really see it much there, but okay. Number 3. The base character design for One Punch Man came from an old anime called Anpan Man. Vaccine Man was inspired by Bakin Man. The character makes a striking resemblance to Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z, which ironically has the voice actor which played as Frieza. Which, by the way, a DBZ and OPM manga crossover was made some time ago by a Japanese fan. Number 4. Boros is actually a character made from one's first manga made 20 years ago called Tayoman, or in English, Sun Man. In that manga, one believed he created Boros 2 OP, which is why he never finished the manga. He then decided to bring Boros back 20 years later to be defeated by a more suitable opponent, Saitama. One then did another cameo where he placed Tornado in his other manga series, Mob Psycho 100, in Chapter 8. Number 5. In Chapter 44, Part 3, we catch a glimpse of Saitama reading that same manga of Tayoman, which was the earliest manga that one created. Number 6. In episode 7, we see a quick easter egg of Shinichi and Reiko from Parasite. Do you even Madhouse? Number 7. You'd think that with a successful anime like One Punch Man, Madhouse put hundreds of millions into their budget, but the reality is is that the budget was actually on an average level after a tweet from the animation director confirmed this. The budget they were given for One Punch Man was the same as any other regular anime, which gives us the eye-opener that budget does not equal quality. Number 8. So what was the key to this anime's success? Well, with an average budget, the director had to make a choice between hiring expensive elite animators or overlooked passionate ones. So for a few years, Shingo Natsume collaborated with simple young animators that uploaded their work on the internet before going professional. He describes that One Punch Man was essentially the perfect playground for webgens to draw spectacular fight scenes. Number 9. During the opening of One Punch Man, we see a shot of the Earth. When the shot pans out, we see only one continent that resembles the actual prefecture in Japan called Saitama, ironically the main character's name if you couldn't put that together already. Now, with the hype of One Punch Man, it's clear the fanbase is begging for a season 2. Yusuke Murata has tweeted that he will try all he can to make this a reality for the One Punch Man fans. But we're not expected to see this anytime soon considering the manga is only chapter 87 and the One Punch Man finale ended at chapter 37. So what did you guys think? Any other easter eggs that I should have covered? Any other animes you think that I should dissect? Leave a comment down below on your thoughts or suggestions for my next episode. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more anime content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!